just want to welcome everyone here today to our exercise program for low mobility. So we're going to begin with some shoulder shrugs and just nice and easy shrugging the shoulder. And let's roll the shoulders backwards. And roll the shoulders forwards. And arm circles forwards. And arm circles backwards. Nice and easy. We're just warming up. With the blood moving around. And we're reaching in front. And reaching up. out to the side and alternate elbow bends nice and smoothly And extending the arms back nice and easy. And roll the wrists. Roll them the other direction. Bending the wrist. And pivot the wrist. And play the piano. The fingers going. Now we're going to tap our toes. So together, we'll tap the toes. The idea of this is that we work the muscle in the front of the shin, the tibialis anterior. And this is involved when you're walking to make sure you don't stumble and you pick your toes up. So it's heel, midfoot, toe off. And we're just tapping away. You may feel them start to burn a bit. And let's alternate. First one, then the other. Now we're going to go into a march and I just remembered we're going to be using some cans of tomato sauce which are in the back seat of my car in a grocery bag and the car is open all right so we're marching along and then we lift the knees up now we're going to get the lower half of our body going with these exercises and they're very straightforward and easy to perform.
and we're going to do a heel dig with the reach in front. Now it doesn't matter if you use the same arm, same leg, or opposite arm, opposite leg. Whatever happens, that's what we go with. And we're just reaching out, we're starting to warm up a bit. I can feel myself getting warm. And now we tap the toe and we reach up. And now we tap at one o'clock and 11 o'clock. And I'm pushing my arm out to the side, one o'clock and 11 o'clock, with the arm out to the side. And now we're going to step over the line and take the arms up. So we're going from about 11 o'clock to one o'clock and extending the arm. And we're gonna punch up. So we're just punching up with the arms right in front. And then we're gonna go opposite hand, opposite knee. Now the back stays straight and we're just moving the shoulder and the arm. And now we're back to marching. So we went through once, the circuit once. Now we'll do it twice more. So we're marching. And lift those knees. And then we'll do some heel digs and reaching in front. And you can straighten the fingers if you do it. If this is too much, you can just do arms or just do legs. As long as you're moving, that's what's important. tap and reaching up. And a tap to the side and arm to the side. So we're about one o'clock and 11 o'clock and just passing the arm out to the side. And now we step over the line and up. up. So just like there's a little imaginary line right in front of you. And we punch up one. And 
hand, opposite knee, opposite hand. we're back to march again. Nice straight back, head up. And lift those knees. to heel dig and reach in front. And a toe tap and the arm goes up. Tap to the side and arm out to the side. At about one o'clock and eleven o'clock with the legs. to step over the line. One, two. Punch up. Notice I'm trying to get the arm as straight as I possibly can so we go through the full range of motion on these movements. That's the important thing, not necessarily the speed in which you do it. You can see if I slow it down, I'm extending my arm right out. That's what's important. And opposite hand, opposite knee. And now we're going to slow things down a little bit. I'm just lifting my feet nice and slow. Touch my opposite shoulder with my hand. Nice and easy. Maybe touch the elbow. Bring the arm down below the level of the heart to try and get things to slow right down. And maybe a heel dig and just swing the arms at the side. Nice and easy. Big breath in and let it go. now we're going to do our lean back. So we sit towards the front of the chair. You can, if you like, cross your arms or put the, your hands on your knees. And we just lean back and come forward. You want to pull the navel towards the spine. That's really important. So I'm almost doing a pelvic tilt as I lean back in the chair because we want to make sure those stomach muscles are tightened so the strain doesn't go to your back. Nice and smoothly, and I just come back up till I'm 
at the midpoint right there don't lean forward you're just hinging right there Now with this exercise, you want to make sure you do a minimum of 15 repetitions or 20, whatever works for you. But it is a muscular endurance exercise, so we want to do a minimum of 15. And we want to make sure we strengthen our core muscles so we protect our back. All right, now we'll do our hip lifts. So that's where you pretend you sat on something. Maybe it was some mustard or relish. You're at a picnic table eating outside. And we just lift the hip up as we're doing it. Now I am tightening my core muscles as I do this exercise and bringing that hip up. That's important to tighten the core because I can feel the muscle working as I tighten in my core and I'm picking it up and down. So don't just rock. Make sure you tighten your stomach muscles as you do this exercise. It gets the obliques, the muscles on your side that come up from your hip bone. So I'm trying to lift that hip bone up towards my rib cage as I do this exercise. Now we're going to do sit to stand. This is a functional movement whenever we're sitting down and we have to stand up. And this is really important as we get older that we have strong legs so we can get up properly. So I'm leaning slightly forward and I push up with my legs. So we sit down and up and down slowly and up slowly. There's two. Re down slowly, up slowly. So I have the upper part, my trunk is leaning slightly forward, but still with the straight back and I'm push with the legs. You should feel this as you do it. And again, Make sure you do a minimum of 10, but if you can do 15, that's better. Nice and slowly, no jerking. And I'm not rocking. I'm just straight up and straight down. No rocking, and I can feel that in my legs. Up and down. All right. Now we're going to do some upper body strengthening. So I have some cans of beans or cans of soup. All right. And we're going to start with that. Now we'll do some shoulder flexion first. So we're going to raise our arm up to shoulder height alternately, nice and smoothly. The thing is don't swing. Make sure you stop when you come to the bottom and straight up. Now you'll do 20 of these to get 10 on each side. So it's nice and smooth. The arm is straight or as straight as you can get it. And just nice and smooth. So you don't need weights. Whatever you've got, bottle of shampoo, any canned good, whatever works for you. All 
Okay, you can see how we do that nice and smoothly. And I stop at the bottom because there is a slight pause as I'm alternating from side to side. All right, the next one we're going to do is shoulder abduction. That's raising the arms to the side. But I start with the cans about mid thigh, right here, mid thigh, so that I'm coming up slightly to the front. So I'm about 30 degrees if zero was straight out to the side and I'm just lifting the cans nice and easy. You can see I'm coming back to about mid thigh as I let them drop down and I'm not rushing it nice and slowly just up to shoulder height. Just take your time. You want to make sure you do it slowly so you're working the appropriate muscles properly. Nice and easy. Okay, then we let the arms down at the sides nice and loose. What we're going to do now are some bicep curls. So I make sure my elbow is against my side and just from my elbow to my hand is moving as we go back and forth nice and smoothly. And again, this one is 20 repetitions, 10 on each side. And 20. All right, now we're going to do some triceps. So that's the complementary muscle to the biceps. So what I do is I bend my arm at 90 degrees. You can see 90 degrees there on my right arm. And I'm going to keep it at 90. And I'm just going to move from my elbow to my hand straight back. Nice and smoothly. If you can get it straight, that's good. That's the goal, to get the arm straight. And then we go to the other side and you can see I've got the arm at 90 degrees. So straight back, here we go. Nice and smoothly. You should feel that muscle contract as you straighten your arm. Now, I've taken the cans, they're about even with my knees, and we're gonna do a seated row in this position. So I pull the elbow straight back and I squeeze the shoulder blades nice and smoothly. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Let's try one more. One squeeze. Two squeeze. This is a back stabilizing exercise, especially for the shoulders. A stabilizing exercise for the shoulders. This will be one of the first things you do in strengthening with a rotator cuff injury when you get to that level. 
All right, now we're just going to put the cans on the thigh and we're going to lift the leg alternating 20 times. You can put a little downward pressure if you want to make it a little more difficult if you're up for it or not. All right, that completes our strengthening. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do three stretches, all right? So the first one's a hamstring. I've got my legs straight in front of me. My hands are on the knee of the opposite leg, which is bent at 90 degrees, and I hinge from the hips, keeping my head up and lead with the chest and hold it for 20 seconds. So you just want a gentle tugging and pulling in the back of the leg not pain. So we'll go to the other leg. So we just reverse positions. Hands on the knee, lead with the chest, keep the head up until you feel a little bit of tug and pull in the back of your thigh. Very good. Now we'll do a shoulder stretch. So I bring the arm across my chest. The opposite arm comes underneath and secures at the elbow. And I just hold it for 20 seconds. And then we do the same with the other arm. We bring it across and just hold the position, a nice static stretch, no bouncing, just a gentle tug and pull on the shoulder. And then what I do is I sit straight, our final stretch, pull the shoulders down and back Tighten the stomach by pulling the navel towards the spine and just hold that position. You might feel it up around your collarbone or across your chest. But this is good for posture. As we get older, we don't want to stoop. We want to walk straight. Makes you look younger. Okay, that completes our program. Let's have a nice big breath in and let it go. Big breath in and let it go. I want to thank everyone for joining me this afternoon and I wish you all the best. Thank you.